I, I think to become accomplished as an artist, whether you're doing oil painting or drawing or, or photography, um, you have to love it. Are you willing to put in the time? Uh, and if you do love it, uh, then, then go for it. My name is Don Nordland. I live south of Shevelin. We've been out here for about 40 years. I'm a photographer. The biggest areas where I worked in before this was with portraiture and wedding. And now I've reduced my photography to doing just landscapes and things of interest that I enjoy. I started back in the early 1960s uh, in high school. And when I went into the military in 1966, they asked if there was anybody in the group that had any background in photography. So I volunteered, took some tests, and I ended up spending four years in the Air Force uh, as a photographer, uh, including a year in Vietnam where I was a combat photographer. And I worked primarily in aerial reconnaissance. Uh, coming out of the military, I went to college and uh, worked my way through school as the uh, photographer that did news release uh, for both Rainy River Community College and for Bemidji State. And uh, since then, I have taken online courses, I've taken in-class uh, programs, and have worked with area photographers uh, both individually and in groups to just to improve and to learn and to do the kinds of things I like with it. When I first started in photography, everything, of course, was film. My first adjustable camera was a Yashica 44, twin lens, reflex. And uh, when I got into the military, I, I was able to buy a 35 millimeter Pentax that was adjustable. So I had some control over exposures and focal lengths of lenses and so on. Uh, through the years, most of the changes came in uh, optics and in electronics, where cameras would do more and would, would be able to accomplish under different lighting conditions. Uh, with the ad advent of the digital age, well, things change completely. In fact, I had a tough time converting from film cameras to digital cameras. I, I didn't understand it. Uh, it didn't, I didn't understand how pictures, photographs could be put onto a small uh, memory card and then put them into a computer and manipulate them. Uh, I was used to sending film in the mail into a, a lab where they processed or I would process them myself and uh, it just did not seem natural to me. Today, it, it's become more natural again, and uh, I'm able to take one of my cameras out and photograph, and I'm able to do it under a, a wide variety of lighting conditions. And so it, it's way more convenient. And, it, and to me, it's amazing. It, it's, it's opened up the opportunity to, to do things that we before we couldn't do. Well, I'm always thinking about things to do. It's just that as I get older, I have less energy, and even though I have more time. I would like to continue to learn. I think the, the, the biggest benefit from my perspective on the Bagley Area Art Collaborative is that it has brought artists together. And we're able to bring in national artists who teach workshops to both beginners and to existing artists. And uh, it's just generated an enthusiasm within the group. Um, I was motivated with the increased art to start uh, an adult photography club. And a couple of years ago, we started that, and we have 30 members. And we get together once a month and talk photography, share photographs. And uh, I've 
it is not funded by the BAAC, but it, but I think it's a direct result of being involved with the BAAC, and um, and it and it furthers. And then the other part of it is that it's been a personal value to me, but it's also been a community value. The Bagley Area Arts Collaborative, having brought in these uh, artists from around the area, further the whole community spirit, and it, it just adds another dimension. You know, I still consider myself uh, an amateur learner, even though I've had a career of, of doing weddings and portrait work, but the BAC is a vehicle that brings us all together. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You know, you can learn from people who have been there before you uh, and will point out where, where the pitfalls are or where you might have trouble and help you to improve and to, and, and that way then you can enjoy it. Um, if, if you have to do the work as a money-making process, then be realistic of what the opportunities are because not everybody who starts a business or gets off on an adventure that way um, is able to make a living at it. And it's really tough to get halfway down the road and realize that this isn't the right road to be on. And so, so you have to enjoy it though, that has to be the way to get into it, I believe. I think sometimes an artist is a lonely person. Um, partly because we have to be self-assured of where we're going with our art and not everybody shares that concept or that idea. And so uh, over the years, it's, it's become part of my life. And when, and when I can sit down at the table with other people who share that same attitude, uh, to me, that's just a, a supportive process.